Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of All About Bridge Engineering. This is again put in the playlist Journey of a Trust and we can see that since I discussed in previous episodes as well that almost all the members of this very trust are now in position and it is time for the deck slab to be casted over these cross beams and you can already see that these channel sections are put in place for that very process because it will uh, it will ensure safe passage for the workers while they are actually keeping the reinforcement of the deck in place and see how beautifully they have uh, figured out how they will be keeping it you can see that this channel this is kept this channel is actually put on the flange of the cross beam on either side that is on the left side as well as on the right side and over this the, these workers will be moving while binding or placing the reinforcement of the deck also you can see that these little angle sections uh, almost at the top quarter of this cross beams they will be holding the shuttering plates when the reinforcement will be tied up for the deck so at that point of time I'll try to take out some time and come and visit this place again and so that we can see how shuttering plates are kept on the cross beams and over which the deck slab will be put in place after the placement of the reinforcement so this episode will also discuss about how the behavior of deck slab is going to be in this very truss so normally in this truss we don't see any vert any longitudinal stringers so that means that the deck slab will be rested only on the cross beams that is these members will be the uh, support positions for the cross beams and also you can see the shear studs that is the channel shapes she shaped shear studs through which the deck will un undergo composite action once it gains sufficient strength after 28 days of casting and yes the deck will be behaving as a one way slab but that will be continuous so it means that the main direction of span will be this direction which is the distance between the cross beams and uh, the main reinforcement will we should be tied at that at at that very location only that is in this very direction so once the deck slab reinforcement is put in place we will again visit this place and see that whether the main steel or steel at reduced spacing or lesser spacing is provided in the uh, direction of span which is the direction in the longitudinal direction which is the longitudinal direction of the bridge and is the distance between the individual cross beams you can all already see people on the other side just me, let me bring it by a zoom section you can see those people they are actually trying to bind and cut the reinforcement as per the bar bending schedule of the deck slab so yes we'll see when that stage comes how the deck slab will be casted and how reinforcement is put in place you can already see a worker trying to move a huge reinforcement bundle so he's actually breaking it into pieces as per the bar bending schedule and once the deck slab is about to be casted we can you know very clearly see the details of the reinforcements as well so that's it in this episode and it's time for me to just go to the safer side of the bridge i have to cross these very things you can see so let's see see you again in some another episode